Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Imadhu. I hope you all are doing good. So today we are going to discuss a building block of cloud computing. So let's get started. Like in previous video, we discuss what is cloud computing. Now we have to understand the building blocks of cloud computing. First, that is infrastructure as a service. Infrastructure as a service is also known as hardware as a service because it provides infrastructure for, for our requirements. Like it is the one of the layer of cloud computing platforms. It allows customer to outsource their IT infrastructure such as servers, networking, processing, storage, virtual machines. For example, in traditional hosting services, IT infrastructure was rented out for a specific period of time with predetermined hardware configurations. But now, now that we can use infrastructure as a service without investing so much in infrastructure like if we have we have uh, requirement to build to work two different infrastructure so we don't need to we don't need to arrange it physically that infrastructure for our requirement we can go in we can go for cloud cloud give me this infrastructure according to your requirement and use and pay according pay as go model so our infrastructure as a service providers provide the different type of following services that are like compute, storage, network, load balancer. Compute as a service in which we we are we are only focusing about like virtual central processing unit and virtual main memory for the end users. The storage uh, like infrastructure as a service provided backend storage for storing files if you talk about network in networking terms of uh, we can uh, we can get example of like uh, such as routers switches etc and in uh, if we talk about load balancer it provides like uh, balancing capacity in the infrastructure in the infrastructure layer we if you have if you have a knowledge of some uh, some knowledge of networking then you, you sh surely know about uh, layers so that's that's load balancer do going towards the next what are the advantages and the disadvantages of infrastructure infrastructure as a service advantages shared in first advantage is shared infrastructure like uh, my resources uh, one resources are are shared between multiple users and second one is web access to the resources you can access the resource using web pay as per use model like uh, the service you, you the service you use pay you have to pay accordingly if you use one hour pay as per the model on demand is scalability like if you have a requirement or you to, to scale your service on demand so infrastructure as a service also providing the same if you talk about disadvantage this what disadvantage of infrastructure as a service then first is security security is the one of the biggest issue in a infrastructure as a service but it does not provide 100% security to the users. Maintenance and upgrade. Although IA infrastructure as a service provides to the provides like it maintains the software, but it does it does not upgrade the software at, at a time for some organization. Interoperability issue means it is difficult to migrate VM from one IAS provider to other. In which users face the issue. So 
this issue of interoperability interpolability related to like to vendor login going to the next going forward we understood advantages and disadvantages IAS providers like you uh, Amazon web services uh, Net Magic Solutions, Reg Space, Advanced Communication, C3 Technology, Tata Communication, they all are the providers who provide the service to the users. If you talk about AWS, you can, you can hear about the EC2, open EC2 application, virtual private cloud. You talk about Net Magic Solutions, they are providing Net Magic infrastructure as a cloud solution. You talk about Tata Communication. They are, they are for Insta Compute. So these are the application of particular service providers. Going forward to the going forward to the next building block of cloud computing that is the software as a service. So software as a service is also known as known as on demand software. So software application are provided over the internet on subscription basis. Like if we have uh, some requirement to uh, to work on any project uh, or to build any software, so we don't need to install in, and when we don't need to install and maintain software on individual computers or server. We can easily go for, we can easily go to the cloud and ask and tell the requirements and ask for the service. And get the access of the software and its future through a web browser. Basically, software as a service provide providers provides the following services like business service, document management service, social networks, mail service. If we talk about the business service, like provider provides various business services to start up the business. For example, like ERP. Enterprise resource planning, CRM, customer relationship management, billing and sales. If we talk about the document management, like the SaaS document management is a software application offered by the third party uh, SaaS providers to create, manage and track electronic documents. For example, Soho Forms, Slack, etc. We talk about the social network as we all know social networking sites are used by the general public. So social networking website service provider use SaaS for their convenience and handle the general public's information. We talk about mail service handle the un predictable number of users and uh, to manage the load we, that's all the service is provided by the SaaS. In forward to the advantages and disadvantages of software as a service SaaS is easy to buy because uh, SaaS pricing is based basically based on the monthly subscriptions Uh, next one is one to many like uh, one to many means uh, one one resource shared to the multiple users in SaaS like uh, one software we, uh, is shared between multiple users in SaaS less hardware required for software as a service and uh, next one is API integration we can do API integration on the SaaS platform no client side installation is required SaaS services are accessed directly from the service provider using the internet connection. So do not require any client side installation. And this advantages of the SaaS is first one is the same like security. Security will really data is stored on the cloud. So security may be issue for some user. Total dependency on internet without an internet connection 
most SaaS application are not usable. So that one, that that one is the main biggest disadvantage of the SaaS. Switching between SaaS vendor is difficult. Like if you are, we talk about vendors. Like if you are, uh, if you are working, if your data is stored in the Salesforce.com, and you want to switch uh, all all the data to the Microsoft Office 365, so switching between SaaS vendors is a difficult. That that is uh, one of the main disadvantages disadvantage of SaaS. Going forward to the SaaS providers, if you talk about the SaaS provider, we can see that like Salesforce.com, Workday Inc, Microsoft Office 365, Google Apps. Let's talk about some some real applications of SaaS providers like Salesforce.com, on-demand CRM solutions, Google Apps, Gmail, Google calendars, Google Docs, etc. Workday Inc, HR management payroll and HR management payroll and financial management like if you fill some form of your like if you are filling the form for some particular position for job so you used Workday like in Workday there are the there are the related jobs descriptions and apply link are there so you have to log in in workday and apply for some particular job so everyone i can i can say that everyone hear the workday terms before that moving forward to platform as a service like we are we are in the salesforce series salesforce is also as a software as a service platform and Salesforce is also as a platform as a service. We are, we are going to talk more. Platform as a service provides a runtime environment. It allows programmers to easily create, test, run, and deploy web application. Like if you have uh, given, if you have given some coding con, if you have given some coding context and given some uh, company coding rounds, so you know something about. Like uh, uh, companies. Uh, uh, if uh, particular companies uh, have some criteria and they are giving their they are giving their own platform to write the code because uh, uh, or that particular uh, that particular environment or runs on the cloud runs on the cloud and that is the example of the platform as a service with pass developer can focus solely on writing code and creating applications while the platform like platform take care of the hardware uh, operating operating system and thing middleware and other resources everything that is required for the application development and de deployment you don't need to take you don't need to take care of anything you you just focus on the de development and deployment that's uh, that's why cloud is uh, uh, growing rapidly because they are providing so much services and the, the cloud are scalable uh, on scalable on on demand platform as a service providers provide the following services like programming languages like i've talked about application frameworks databases other tools programming languages means they are providing a different type of language on compiler you can write the code applications frameworks they are providing different type of frameworks they are providing a databases, different uh, different types of databases, or they are also providing some other tools. That's all about the past services. Going forward to the advantages and disadvantages, and uh, simplified development. Past is uh, past is a simplified development because uh, they they are they are not so much because they are giving you to the platform according to your requirement. You, you have to work only, you don't need to take care of anything. Lower risk because they are, you, you don't have to manage and uh, manage and uh, you don't need to manage and uh, arrange all things. You have to focus on your only work. Scalability, you, we can scale according to our 
on our demand or requirements this advantage is vendor lock in vendor lock in means if we if we are moving if we are moving one if we are moving from one pro providers to another providers so that the issue comes vendor lock in integration with the rest of the system application that is also one of the disadvantage because in some cases data privacy comes if we if we do the integration so our one platform data is uh, uh, maybe uh, shared to the other platform so that the reason that is that is one and uh, next one is data privacy because data is on the cloud so uh, privacy is an issue for some user pass providers or like google app engine salesforce.com windows azure app fog openshift cloud foundry from vmware we talk about some real example real application of these pass providers like salesforce.com crm services sales cloud chatter etc if we talk about windows azure like you can hear these terminologies before compute security iot data storage if we talk about OpenShift, that is uh, open source, Red Hat, Microsoft, Azure, etc. If you are new to the channel, do subscribe, like, comment and share. Thank you.